Morg's YouTube channel is pretty much dead with an average of only 5 million views per month. And the first reason for the death of his channel is simply that his audience got older. Back in 2019, when Morgs was gaining an average of 100 million views per month, it was accepted as commonplace on YouTube, Reddit, and Twitter that Morgs' audience was made up primarily of children. Now, it's hardly surprising that this ended up being the case, as when Morgs first began his channel back in 2014, he was a 13-year-old child himself. Hey guys, Morgan here, and today we have a Q&A, because we just hit 1K subs. The gaming content he began to produce in combination with his own young age wasn't going to appeal to anyone besides other youngsters, which was solidified to some extent in a video back in 2015 called Reacting to Hate Comments, during which he'd complain about six-year-olds hating on his videos. I swear every YouTuber has received one of these comments from people who look about six calling you a kid. Luckily for Morgs, however, there's no shortage of kids watching YouTube. And just over a year after beginning his countless FIFA and Pokemon Go videos, he was already at 100,000 subscribers. Morgs, congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. The growth of his channel led to the introduction of his mother in a video titled Extreme Q&A with my mum. My mum. <laughs> I can't believe this is actually happening. Giving exposure to the now famous Jill Hudson, whilst Morgs continued to grow rapidly in the background. On the 1st of January 2016, Morgs had only 8,000 subscribers. However, by the end of the year, he had gained more than a million. Yeah! Yet while this achievement was incredibly exciting, it would come with one specific problem. The more loud, energetic, intense, crazy I was in the videos, that's kind of what provided the best results and obviously my main goal uh, and I think pretty much most YouTubers are but like my main goal was always just to like grow my channel as, as big as it could be. As mentioned in the previous clip from the Happy Hour podcast, Morgs noticed that the more hyped and energetic he acted, the more views he received. His goal at the end of the day was to grow the channel as quickly as possible, so putting on this over-the-top persona became the new meta on his channel. He then began to mix this with challenge-style videos which were clearly targeted toward a younger audience, further cementing the idea that his viewers were nothing but children. However, his video style and persona weren't the only things that were changing in Morg's life. Still, at the age of 15, Morgs would upload a video explaining that, as a result of spending so much time creating videos, his school attendance had declined dramatically, resulting in his teachers telling him that he needed to quit YouTube. The head teacher starts asking me if I would, if I would quit YouTube or stop doing YouTube to focus on school. Morgs was therefore faced with a decision. He could either continue school or drop out at the age of 15 to pursue content creation, and a video titled Why I Quit School Aged 15 to Do YouTube Full time gives us a pretty good idea about which option he would eventually choose. However, while leaving school at the age of 15 felt like the right decision to Morgs, others in the YouTube commentary space didn't feel the same way. A video uploaded by Muggy titled Morgs is an idiot for dropping out of school would go on to receive 1.25 million views by criticizing Morgs for believing his YouTube career would last forever. I can comfortably say that I want to spend the rest of my life doing YouTube. That's not gonna happen, sorry, it's just... YouTube's not going to exist for 60 more years. Yet, this wasn't even the most significant thing to come out of this video. The impressive performance of 1.25 million views for what was a pretty basic commentary upload established that there was an audience for videos critical of Morgs. In light of this, Morgs became the punching bag for every commentary YouTuber from DJ Cook to Cody Ko. Someone tell me what the deal with Morgs is. I haven't watched any videos on him. I know that he's annoying. People have tweeted me before his videos being like, he's so annoying. You gotta do something. The Sidemen awarded Morgs the most punchable face in 2018. The most punchable face. <laughs> um, again, Morgs. And by 2019, even PewDiePie was joining the pylon in front of an audience of over 16 million. The mom really likes to make that face and it makes me very, 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 very uncomfortable. Subsequently, everyone over the age of 15 seemed to take on a similar opinion about Morgs. Morgs is a dumb English kid who know nothing but yelling. I mean, imagine a kid who makes his mum fall off a treadmill for money, and his number one problem is clickbaiting people. Pretty sure that the neighbours next to Morgs' house must definitely have soundproofing. In the end, he sucks. However, whilst being criticised from every corner of the internet doesn't sound all that ideal, Morgs claimed that he loved it. it this is probably going to sound pretty crazy, but like, I love them, really. Like, really? I really like there there isn't really anything I enjoy watching more now <laughs> than people like ri ripping in to me. Everybody making videos, ripping apart your content. How did that feel inside Morgan? Did it hurt? To be honest, I 
loved it. Possibly because it was doing wonders for the growth of his channel. This was accentuated by Morg's mum beginning her own channel, which opened the door for a whole new set of memes, such as the Will and E vs Morg's mum subscriber war, which garnered millions of views for each creator, while passively introducing more people to what you might call the Morg's empire. Although, while Morg's claimed to enjoy these roast videos, one piece of criticism that Morg's didn't seem to appreciate was when people began to accuse him of stealing video ideas from Mr. Beast. In light of these accusations, Morgs would take to Twitter claiming that Mr. Beast's ideas had also already been done in the past, prompting a video response from Mr. Beast, who stated that he was putting his own twist on the videos whilst Morgs clearly wasn't. When you get inspired, because it's clearly you're getting inspired by me, just switch it up a little bit more. Like, yeah, obviously I got inspired by other people. I wasn't the first to donate to Twitch streamers. Everyone gets inspiration. Just you put your own little twist on it. I would just prefer if you get inspired by me, just switch it up a little bit more and uh, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't hate you, it's whatever. Morgz responded to the video by stating, The titles and thumbnails are pretty similar, but if you watch the actual vids, our video styles are completely different, before Mr. Beast will conclude the thread by stating, Hey, a sensible response. I deleted the original tweet because I know lots of YouTubers are making vids on you right now, and I can't imagine it feels good, so I'll leave you alone. Have a good day. Although this certainly wouldn't be the end of the beef, as Morgz continue to copy many elements of Mr. Beast's videos. Six months after their original encounter on Twitter, Morgz will post a tweet reading, so out of video ideas at the moment. I'm in a bit of a pickle, prompting another little zinger by Jimmy reading, don't worry, I'm about to start uploading more soon. This prompted Morgs to start a new argument thread in which he would show examples where Mr. Beast seemed to have actually copied Morgs, yet Mr. Beast would dismantle these accusations by showing the process by which he had actually come up with the ideas. Morgs responded by stating, how come my top video is a copy of your Last to Leave series, but your VR video is inspired? And just because you say you're joking and you hate drama doesn't change anything. Just a way for you to push a narrative while still looking like a good guy, even though you tweeted about me. The beef continued with Morgz blacklisting the word Mr. Beast on his channel, and Jimmy stating on Twitter, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, yet at some point Mr. Beast probably realised that arguing about the problem was a waste of time, as Morgz was only getting closer and closer to 10 million subscribers. However, coincidentally, 10 million subscribers would also be the same point at which Morgz's channel began to show the first signs of impending failure. We mentioned in the beginning that the first reason behind this was that his audience had simply gotten older. However, it wasn't only the audience. 15 year old Morgs and 20 year old Morgs were two completely different people. Now over the past few years, as I'm sure you know, I have changed a lot from when I first started YouTube. 15 year old Morg seemed energetic and confident that he would be doing YouTube forever, whilst 20 year old Morgs had achieved 10 million subscribers and everything he could have ever imagined, leading him to adopt a more jaded personality, even claiming that he could simply retire whenever he wanted to. I, I guess I'm at a point now where like, I don't have to do anything. Like I could theoretically like, I guess retire mm -hmm. and stop. But obviously retire like, at 19. Morgz having achieved everything he ever wanted also seemed to bring on this epiphany that maybe being this overly energetic entertainer for kids wasn't really who he truly wanted to be, stating that the overly energetic persona was draining as it lacked personability. A lot of my videos anybody could like watch and laugh at and they were just very easy to digest. There wasn't much like chatting to the camera. There wasn't much interacting with the audience. It drained you over time because you know, it ends up with your videos just not being very personal. And you know, you kind of sacrifice that personal connection with your audience. It does wear on your mind thinking about, you know, like what's going to make the video pop. As a result, Morgz began to take a much more honest approach to YouTube, admitting that the content itself was fake in addition to his personality. Morgan, we all know you've done a lot of fake videos. Oh, which one is the <gasps> fakest? Yo, how can I even pick one? There's so many. While also admitting that he had copied Mr. Beast on numerous different occasions. The Mr. Beast. You know what? I will hold my hands up and say, yes, I have taken ideas before. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys already know that. There was a clear internal battle that was arising in Morg's mind after he'd hit 10 million subscribers, being that he could either continue with the overhyped fake persona and the videos targeted towards children, or he could pursue authenticity and run the risk of losing his audience. Morgz would make this decision publicly in early 2021, when he'd upload a video titled, I'm Leaving YouTube, explaining that he planned on leaving his childlike persona in the past, so he could make videos as his own authentic self. Now I've got 11 million subscribers and everything. I guess now I'm at a point in my YouTube career where I'm just kind of done with the bullshit. Like, you know, I, 
I just want to be myself again. By this point, Morg's viewership had already fallen to 20 million per month from a peak of 100 million per month. However, Morg's displaying his genuine self seemed to have no effect on his decline in views, as they would unfortunately continue to tumble. Perhaps Morg's reputation as a kid's entertainer was so deeply ingrained that nobody over the age of 18 would be willing to call themselves a Morg's fan even after the rebrand. Maybe Morg's overestimated how interested his previously young audience would be in his new genuine persona. The other problem with adopting this new genuine persona was that suddenly there was no reason for the commentary community to talk about him anymore. He kind of lost his meme status. So much of his growth had come from people simply discussing how bad he was and therefore as Morgs got rid of his cringy personality, people got rid of their videos talking about it. All of this led Morgs' viewership to fall further to around 10 million per month while Morgs' subscriber count would stagnate followed by its first sign of a decline in early 2022. The decreased viewership and subscriber count seemed to lead to a decline in motivation as Morgs began to upload every one or two months, resulting in a further viewership decline to around 5 million per month, where it remains to this day.